Hey everybody, let's see if this works this time. Yay, I see people. Not like I see dead people, but I see people joining. Hi everybody, that was a really lame joke. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, um, great. So welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. It's Monday, thank you Jonathan and Perut. Um, yeah, so it's Monday, so we're gonna do a little motivation as we always do. Hi mom. Um, Hey, uh, hey, Allie. So before I invite Facebook to join, um, if you want, I'll do shout outs to people sharing. Thank you, Kevin Hahn, Bobby. Uh, welcome, Lon. Thank you, um, Boyraz, Odelia, Schultz, Timothy, Alexa, Old Mantras, Selena, Penguin, Mama, Intern, Schmo, <laughs> Stacy, Calvin, Mr. GM, uh, H, thank you, Alexa, SMR, Teresa, Salty. Straight your face? Something like that. I'm not quite sure what that was. Soul Rich Force Ghost. And Mom, thanks for joining a second time. Uh, thank you, A Vincent Vine Set. And let's let's go ahead and join up with Facebook as well. So we can talk about choosing happiness. <clears throat> it is hard to remember sometimes that it really is a choice. I always laugh at your name, intern schmo. <laughs> I guess. Oh, look, I did it again. Uh, thank you, MVG. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Get to Facebook. I already set it up, but then I. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. It's Monday, and like we do every Monday, we talk about something that will help to motivate us to be better people, happier people, you name it. And today we're actually going to talk about happiness, the choice of happiness. A lot of people have talked about this, about how we choose how we're feeling. It's not actually as dependent on outside situations um, as we would think. And I completely wholeheartedly agree with that. What I don't agree with though is that you can be happy in any given moment, like ever. But you can get to happiness in any given moment. This is my thesis today. So what I mean by that is if you're having a really angry feeling, if you're going through something that just really sucks and you're upset about it and it happens to all of us. I'm going through something, a couple of things right now actually that are very upsetting and I'm not gonna go into the details because the details actually aren't important. The details aren't important. I mean, they might seem really important and you need to honor the details, but at the same time, if we get stuck in all the details of the problems that we have, we'll just be stuck forever because we're all really good at creating arguments for why we're right and other people are wrong or why we should be unhappy and all the rest of it. What I recommend, when you're feeling really, really upset, take a moment and honor that feeling. Write about it, write about it, you guys. Write about it in your journal, just or on a computer screen, or on your phone, or whatever it is, but don't like send it to people, just for you. Write it out, talk it out, what you're feeling. Write down stuff that you wouldn't share with anyone because you'd be embarrassed or it would sound weird or whatever. Get it out, be truthful, communicate with yourself. Then after you've had a chance to purge some of that, because purging is important. We can't just hold on to this stuff or it'll, it'll eat you up. Then, then it's time to choose happiness. Do yourself a favor. Did I not go live on Facebook? I thought I went live already. I'm not sure. We are talking about happiness. So after you've taken that moment, if you're feeling really upset about something, I'm just gonna repeat it for a second. If you, if you're really, really upset, write about it in your journal. You could talk about it with, to a friend, but you'll get outside input that you might not find useful. I really, really recommend writing about it in a journal or writing, like if you have a journal, but I don't, I don't even use a paper journal anymore. Sometimes I do. You can write about it on your computer screen. You can even delete it later if you, I mean, uh, like a Word document. But whatever it is, get it out. Get out your real, raw truth and feel all the horrible feelings you're having. And then when you're done having those feelings and you've, you've purged them, you've, got them out, you've gotten them out, yeah, don't dwell. That's right, Soul Rich. You don't want to dwell on those things because it'll suck you under and we will, we will spend so much time making you know, vindication arguments for ourselves for why we should be angry. That doesn't help anybody, least of all you, least of all us, least of all the person who's having those feelings. So once you've have, had a chance to purge all that stuff, just with yourself, not with other people, because that's dangerous. Even good friends and family, it's dangerous. I, when you're having really negative, sad, upset, angry feelings, if you have a therapist, great. But really, honestly, the best, the best therapist is your, yourself when you write stuff out. Once you're done with that, 
Then it's time to choose happiness. And that can be as simple as putting on a funny TV show. I swear to you guys, I will watch Impractical Jokers when I am not feeling my best. It makes me laugh. I laugh out loud. I think that is such a funny show. And that's just because I did an episode that a lot of people really like. I don't watch my episode. I watch other episodes that make me laugh so hard I literally have tears coming down my face. And it's a choice. We have so many tools. Watching a funny TV show, putting on some great music that you love. Do something to get yourself out of that feeling. Choose happiness. But there are so other, so many other ways to choose happiness too. It can be as simple as cultivating happiness in your own brain. When you're having a negative thought, I, I've actually been um, teaching Draco, my son, about this. Uh, cultivating kindness. So when, when you say something like, like mean or competitive, then no, 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 cultivate kindness. What, what, what nice thing could you say about that person? And that can relate to so many other things as well. Just cultivating happiness. Like, well, let me focus on what I have right now. I have a lot of amazing, wonderful things. If I take them for granted, they might go away. I mean, that's just how life is. Experience the good stuff that you guys have, that we all have. We all have good and bad in our lives at all times, always. That is just how life is. So we have a choice. And again, for people who have just come in, <clears throat> my main advice here is when you're having really upset negative feelings, write them down, get them all out, just for you, don't send that to anybody. Whether it's you're typing it out or you're writing it out handwritten, <clears throat> either way, it doesn't matter, it's just for you. You're communicating with yourself honestly and getting it all out. When you're done with that and you're done purging, it's time to be happy. Do something that makes you happy. And if you don't immediately know what makes you happy, the next time you're doing something that makes you happy, write it down. Start a list of things that make you happy. For me, it's a funny show, a funny movie. Also, I also love Bridesmaids. I love that movie. I just, I laugh so hard every time I watch that movie. <clears throat> Listen to really fun music. Go to a, yes, a mental happy place, Christopher. <clears throat> You'd write, write down and then burn it. Vincent, that's a great idea. Burning, you know, be careful. You burn something. I'm talking for my mom right now. If she could say this out loud, she would. <clears throat> Happy by Pharrell. I love that song. I love that song. It's great. What a great message too. That mes that message in that in that song is that happiness comes from yourself. And when other bad things, he says, bring them on. Bring it on, the bad stuff. That doesn't scare me because I'm happy. Just, I'm happy, period. Not I'm happy because of something. I'm just choosing to be happy right now. <clears throat> yes, allow yourself to write it out, then allow yourself to move past it to happiness. Now, the the next step for me, um, the more uh, just a little more in-depth to describe this, for me, if I'm having a lot of really angry feelings, I write it all out, and then I try to just keep writing until I feel better, which means I need to start looking at the other side of the argument or the other side of whatever it is. I start writing about the things that I am grateful for. Like while I'm still sitting there writing, I, I find it most helpful if I can write my way into the good mood. <clears throat> and if that ends up <clears throat> like meaning, okay, well now I'm going to go watch my favorite show. So, hi Salma. <clears throat> Let it go by Savannah, that's great. Yes, what can I learn from the situation? All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm glad we could connect once again. Bye.